So far, they're losing the case, right, to essentially keep reasonably shady. And what they want to do Are is- they? They're losing it? Or are they just losing the ability to get to Eminem? I'm asking. I really didn't read the deep. You know, sometimes I see the words Jizzy Jizz and Miss Dixon, and I say, mm-hmm. man, I haven't taken that uh, fentamine uh, today to uh, pick me up. And I just skip over because I don't want to fall asleep. But no, you're right. It hasn't been settled. They haven't lost it. Um, there hasn't been a settlement, but they are trying to go back one more time, it sounds like, and depose him. himself. Right. Well, look, I mean, like if someone came after the behind the velvet rope name at this point, I think this podcast would survive without it because you know me. Having said that, I would probably fight you for it. Like, I don't understand. Look, I don't really know if Eminem has a case. I mean, it's reasonably shady. Like, I don't understand. Who who was that that also tried to, like, trademark a word, but the word was so basic? Jenners, the Jenners. I think it was, wasn't it Momager or- uh... Maybe that was it. So I don't really understand that. Like, to me, reasonably shady is not slim shady. And I actually think they are fine. I don't know why you're wasting money having to get to Eminem. Is this like, and by the way, is in no no shade to the Dixon or uh, Giselle, but is shady, is that such a, is, is reasonably shady such a booming podcast that has such a brand identity that we have to keep this name? I was thinking the same thing. Like, wouldn't you at this point? Because, I mean, they've got to be sinking thousands of dollars. Got to do what's smart for the business, yeah. Always win here. Back and forth, back and forth. And Eminem has got an endless pocketbook. So it's like, to me, at this point, wouldn't you, Jess, you've already got eyeballs because this is a national lawsuit. Wouldn't you go, okay, good morning. We are now reasonably trashy, you know, and RT is moving forward reasonably potomac i mean right and when you just rebrand remarket in like a day new artwork move on from him i mean lean into it call yourselves the call the podcast the green-eyed bandits i mean there's a lot of things you know that you you could right i mean right yeah eminem has a lot more money and look not for nothing eminem being known as slim shady is i guarantee you there are it's not thousands or hundreds of it's millions of more people know Eminem as the real Slim Shady than they do Robin and Giselle as reasonably shady. No offense, girls. I'm just being honest. So having said that, like, I don't know, I'm tied to this name. If someone came after it, I would throw a bunch of money at it and say, fuck this person. But I don't think I would have spent $10 on a trademark. I mean, because, you know, once you've got a trademark, it's pretty hard. I mean, that's the point of trademarks, you know, it's pretty hard. I get what they I get what they mean. They're kind of like nobody is going to think reasonably shady and Eminem, you know, so why can't we put this stuff? Why can't we use that name on merchandise and all that? But I don't know. I would just be like. And by the way, Giselle Bryant, Jizzy G's. Yes. Um, why not bring this up when they knock on your door and they say, should we fire you? Which they're not going to fire you. Why can't you bring this up as your storyline? Can we see this on The Real Housewives of Potomac? Because I mean, right now we, we we're we starting the season with something I've never seen before. This is a reenactment. Like this is like a true crime story and it's showing a fake car. And, and, and eerie music and the car is going over the line and we're, we say three times that this is not a real story and it crashes into a tree stump. Not those tree stumps, because those tree stumps are fucking annoying. Those, those, those people that bow down and worship that queen, Teresia, for nothing. They make no money. They worship that woman for... For, for free. It's like, hey, it's real to them, damn it. It's like wrestling. It's oh, real to God. me, damn it. Girl, I mean, for no money? Oh, God. I mean, that's just high. Oh, come on. You're a fan. You know what it's like. I, what I'm a fan of Madonna, <laughs> but I don't talk. And I'm a fan of Cher. I don't talk about them 24 hours a day. I mean, I would like to have a Madonna <laughs> podcast, but the ship has sailed, girl. My life's work is housewives. But I mean, everything I listen, I know people, believe it or not, that are to Madonna, what the stumps are to that that woman. Me too. They, I used to work with a producer. He was obsessed. Yeah. 
every post of hers, they capitalize. If they say, I'm going out, um, I saw them tonight, like their friends, they put a capital M. Every time there's an M in their sentence, I'm like, I just, do you know that there's studies that people that are that obsessed with one particular celebrity are just un, unhappy people? I believe it. You got to live for yourself, guys. Live for your mother, live for your father, live for your sister, live for the people that are there in your life. Don't turn your nose up at them for a celebrity. Have a child. Have a child. Uh, <laughs> okay. One child will change your life in the best of best of best of ways. Pass, but you and Andy Cohen seem to think so. So, I mean, but, um, okay. So, you know, that's that. And I mean, look, Grand Dom is out there doing the one thing I do find interesting. I do find this real life crash. It, look, it's the same thing as Alexis and Johnny J and Shannon. We have a real situation here. Um, I think it's funny that they're turning the whole season into that, but, uh, Miss Huger is not, uh, but she has gone on record that she misses Robin and she misses Candy Gal. And she says the newbies are, uh, there's something, there's something, these newbies. So a uh, little shade from the Grand Dame, you know? Grand Dame. Yeah, that reenactment was kind of weird and cheesy, uh, but. Um, what the hell are we watching? Grand Dame with the DUI, baby. I love the Grand Dame. I really do. For everyone who says I'm negative, I love the Grand Dame. Love her. <laughs> the Grand Dame. I do too. I love I love myself a little Karen. I um, mean, this is no joke. Uh, do we want to talk about, uh, we haven't talked about Jackson Brittany from uh, last week. This is uh, pretty serious. Buckle up. Where do you want to begin? I mean, what is going on with him? Well... You know, I always said if someone sues me for something like crazy, I'm thinking that I might actually defend myself. If I ever get sued, I might like don't don't come sue me. Like I might just defend myself. If it's look, you need to hire a lawyer if it's a real lawsuit. Like if you really did something or you're really going to sue someone, you need a lawyer. But like if someone I thought about it, like I thought about this over the past year or two, if someone just sued me for something stupid, like we have all these people suing everyone these days, I might just defend myself because like you read the words and I mean, I know how to fill out forms and I mean, it's all about deadlines. I'm not saying I'm going to, I have a legal team, but I just, I mean, why waste the money? If, but Jax, uh, but Jax you is- are a lawyer. But you Jax is, lawyer. yeah, but I haven't practiced in years, but Jax is representing himself. Now, look, I've said this on this podcast before. The rumor with Mr. Taylor, and he'll he'll admit it, I think, is that he's a little uh, tight with the wallet. That's, he will admit this, I think, if you ask him. So I just go back to that, that Jax says he's like cheap and that is his reputation. I mean, 